M0FXB, welcome back to my dog walks. Mazzy is here somewhere. There she is, trying to find her. And it's cold, cloudy November, but we're on our usual dog walk. So, what we're going to talk about today, had a, had a question from a station that said, I'm a shortwave listener, been listening for years. I recently got my ham radio foundation license in the UK. But I'm a bit nervous talking, a bit nervous because I don't know what to talk about because I'm worried that as soon as I start speaking, I'm going to, you know, say something and I'm going to feel silly, okay? And I completely get that. So <clears throat> the first thing I'll say is just because you're talking on a radio, a ham radio, yeah, even a CB, yeah, PMR, it doesn't mean you have to talk about radio. You don't have to talk about antennas and and radios and power supplies and propagation and weather conditions. And you, that's the first thing I would say not to do. Yeah, I, I would say just be you. Yeah, just be yourself. All right. If you're on the ham radio system, I think every 15 minutes you have to give your call sign. Fine. Yeah, follow the rules, yeah? But then just be yourself. If you've just woken up and you're having a cup of coffee and you've turned on your VHF, UHF set and you're having a chat and maybe you've got a few gadgets running in the background, you're gonna end up talking about those gadgets because you, you know, you're talking to like-minded people who have got the same gadgets as you and Take it from me, most hams do not admit to how many radios they've got, even to their friends and family, because, you know, if you've been buying radios for 20, 30 years, and even if you buy and sell and you're sensible, there's always a few in the cupboard. <laughs> so my advice is, you know, just be yourself, talk about what comes to mind, always try and listen to what the other person is talking about and engage with their subject. Because if someone spends a few minutes telling you about something and when you reply, you don't even mention what they've just said, then that's bad etiquette. Because it's a bit, imagine it like tennis, okay? You say something, they reply to what you've said, plus they add a few new things. You reply to what they've said and you add a few new things. So the conversation is a two-way conversation. Um, if you're just talking about what you want to talk about the whole time and ignoring what they're talking about, then that's bad. Uh, in my opinion, that's bad ed etiquette. Also, when you start off, of course, always give your call sign and your first name. Um, and if you want to go, in, in, say you talk, you want to get in between a conversation, wait for a, a, a nice gap and, a, and leave a three or four second gap between every time you speak or they speak leave three, four seconds, even on analog, but especially on digital for everything to reset. But you'll find that even on repeaters, you need to leave three, four seconds. And so you go in and don't just say break. You know, I know a lot of people do that. That's not the way to do it, in my opinion. You go break M0FXB Andreas. So they straight away know who is calling in. If you're on the ham radio system, they're gonna to wanna to hear a call sign. The other thing is um, when you're testing your radio, you know, you might key the mic and you want a, the repeater or the system to blip back at you. Okay, every time you key the mic, you should always say your call sign, but I get it. People will key up just to see if it blips up. Yeah, but don't do it 10 times. Do it once. After that, start using your call sign. But, you know, technically, the first time you key that mic on the ham radio system, you need to give your call sign out. But that's the fun of getting, if you just had a foundation license, be proud, be proud to give your call sign out. You've worked hard for it and you've done really well to get it at, on, at any level. Um, there's even the foundation, it's a couple of months learning. I know you can crash it, but generally it's a couple of months learning. But I tell you now, it's the best feeling you ever get in the wood. I remember when I passed my driving test all those years ago could I actually drive no I was 17 yes I could make the car go forward and turn left and all that but was I a safe driver no chance 
people were driving past me and beeping their horn every time, you know, for the first year and or more. But um, nowadays, I get in the car, I drive to somewhere, I don't even remember driving. That's how good a driver you end up becoming. And it's the same for ham radio. Now, I highly recommend you use Zello as a, as a place to test speaking to people. Join the channels called G1YPQ network radios you can practice it on your phone you don't have to buy a thing download zello ptt it's a great way to practice for free um, then i would say first place i would recommend someone is get on hubnet hubnet has gateways and links all around the world and your a gateway will be almost like in someone's house up the road from you they've set up a mini let's call it a mini repeater it's actually a gateway it's a radio link to the internet but they'll have an antenna up at a decent height and you can access their antenna and you join this gateway and the gateway means that their radio connected to the internet then connected to the all-star system which is then connected to hundreds and hundreds of different rooms around the world and you can speak to australia america russia it doesn't matter where you're speaking instantly on any radio i'm on about, and i'm on about a 10 pound radio yeah vhf uhf then it tends to be uhf which is the 430 type megahertz rather than 140 odd. So, um, yeah, definitely do that. And um, get onto Hubnet, call out, say you're new. Don't be shy to say you're new, yeah? And um, anyone that's misbehaving, that's um, maybe they, you know, just misbehave, ignore them, act like they don't exist. Never respond to badly behaved people ever, because that's exactly what they want. And I hear every day someone will, and not just one, I, I've heard five people in one day respond and tell off people that are blipping up the repeater or whatever, just behaving badly. And the thing is, it just makes them do it more. And so this, as soon as you respond to it, you've become part of the problem. And so ignore bad behavior, but otherwise be yourself, be proud of who you are. doesn't matter if you're young, old, whatever your situation is on this planet, whatever country you're from, it makes no difference. You're a human being who just wants to enjoy his hobby and have a great time and, uh, and just be you. Because being you is all you're ever gonna ever be anyway. So you might as well try and well you might as well enjoy being you and relish the fact that you're alive on this in this universe so um well thanks for watching my channel please hit the like subscribe if you want to buy me and my wife a coffee but otherwise join my youtube channel and mazzy's there as well and um join the channel it's lovely lane we're walking out here beautiful mazzy what are you up to what are you up to and um, in my channel, become part of my, of, not my community, our community. And uh, just always remember, it's a hobby for enjoyment. Never let things stress you out. If you're doing something on your radio and you can't do it, and you feel like smashing it up, go and have a cup of tea, put it down, forget about it. Because remember, it's just a hobby. It's not to be taken seriously. But yes, we have licensed conditions. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.